Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sonny Hustles and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in thrifting, reselling, photography, and graphic designs, then you're pretty much an entrepreneur. You want to learn new skill sets that help you succeed. There's only one way to keep up and it's by subscribing and adding my channel to your favorites. The last video was pretty much a thumbs up party. I had the most thumbs up out of all videos, which help, I believe, push it out into the YouTube world, which is why I believe thumbs up are very important, people. And what I'm going to do in the future, the big plans that I have, which are probably small for some people, but me, my plans, even though like they're like this to some people, to me, they're humongous. I hope that sounded epic. Glad there's all types of people that are interested in the video. And also winning a free camera. Who doesn't want to ruin a free camera? Now up to, I think, 175 subscribers. We have 25 more to go. Not seven, two, five, 25, okay. I had some very good comments about how do I write my descriptions to help better things. And I think that's gonna actually be my next video. For some of you, I'm gonna be really honest. You're gonna be bored. For me, it's exciting because I like questions like that. Descriptions, how can I help you be even more successful than what you are right now? Thank you all. And if you wanna know what I'm talking about in the last video about the Canon camera giveaway, you have to go check it out and go show some love, not just on that channel. Go back to the beginning of my videos and see what I've done. One sold for today, but I got some other items I'm gonna show you that I got. So first item that sold, I open up another window or go to your cell phone or something that you're not using that you can and pay attention to what I'm saying at the same time. Just go and type in Ralph Lauren RRL pants. Go to the sold items, go see what people are listing. Go see the prices that people have sold them for, what people are listing them for. Look at the least to highest or the lowest to highest shipping. Look at the highest to lowest shipping. See if it's with free shipping. See if it's in an auction. See if it has shipping costs on there. Go look at the different things on there. This is definitely double RL is one to keep your eyes out for. I've had this for probably a month and a half and it finally sold. Yes, some things are gonna take longer, but when you spend seven bucks and they sell for $70 and they pay $7.49 for shipping, for some of you, you're gonna be like, yeah, I, I, I would wait it out too. Some people are gonna fall into this desperate phase of, I just wanna sell it. I, I need to get rid of it. I need to make more money. I would say don't get so anxious like that. It's good to be hyped up. It's good to be excited, but not so much where you're cutting yourself short. And if things are slow and selling and you're finding more and more items are just hanging around, you're not getting much views, go and change the title. I'm sure you heard of that before on other thrifters and resellers videos. Second, go see what the price change has dropped down to or possibly increased and they just haven't noticed your item be less than what the higher prices are because you might catch yourself. I've done that many, many times. When things are slow, that doesn't mean go back to Goodwill or Salvation Army or Ross or wherever and had to buy more stuff because the stuff that you have is not selling. That's actually a bad habit. If you could afford to do it, fine. If you have space to do it, good. Even better, but be as organized as possible. But don't fall into this desperate phase of you're gonna just tank your prices and then hurt other people. Because they're selling for around $150 to around $230. There are only two that sold that high, but those were in way better condition. And I would say this was more around $175. Well, they weren't selling, and just like I said, when things are selling and you have time and you notice things, you're like, hmm. Let me go see what the prices are now. And I did that and they dropped down, the prices dropped down to $69. So mine was at around 115 when I started at around 200 something. Every few days or a week, I was just dropping the price little by little. I only paid $7 for these pants. So when I saw that the prices dropped down to $69 with free shipping, I said, I'll drop down to $95, but I'm gonna add shipping. Originally I had free shipping. Within minutes of doing that, I got a message from somebody. I will buy the pants right now for $70 flat, free shipping. Thought for a second, this guy wants them. He's been look, keeping his eye on them, waiting for me to drop the price, thinking that I'm gonna budge even more. I said, you know what, I'll budge a little bit. I'm gonna, I replied back, I will, 
I would adjust the settings of the price to or better offer. But the shipping cost is going to remain at $7.49 because I implemented it when I dropped the price. The guy replied back within seconds. Fair enough. I will buy it right now once you adjust it. I already had adjusted it. All I got to do now is pack it up. I want to show you another item that I have. Two items. Now, I got these for $2.50. I was trying to wipe off the tag, but underneath the tag or the sticker, and, um, it was already ruined. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's a pretty unique color. The way this color is made, the green caught my attention. I was like, whoa, what is that? That, that looks expensive. That looks quality. And I haven't even opened it yet. I didn't even see what was in there. Then I saw that they were inserts, shoe inserts, and I saw super feet. These are green. Hopefully, it brings me some super amounts of money. And then it had all the information on top. It shows that it's a men's size 5.5 to 7 or a women's 6.5 to 8. All I did was scan it, the barcodes on there on my eBay, and these suckers sold for $45.00. Somebody sold one for $27 and regardless, I priced mine at $44 and I think 49 cents with free shipping with an or better offer option. And for three bucks, I'm gonna make some money on here. Other guy sold it for 27, it'll be okay if I sell it for 27. Another item that I came across, let me open this up because I gotta take something out the zipper, is this backpack. The blue is what caught my attention because being colorblind, Blue is the only color that actually stands out to me the most. And it's a very unique color blue. Very like a subtle matte, somewhat shimmer gloss. Like very subtle. And it's a nice quality feel of the leathers. And my wife says this is called a color block. And I was like, yes, I could use that in my description title. Thank you, babe. You get the thumbs up. I looked at it. I was like, man, this has to be a good quality bag. If not, I could keep it for myself. But... I ended up finding that it's a little busted after I brought it home and was showing my wife and I was like, oh, that's what this was inside the bag. I had seen this and I was like, let me hold on to this. I don't know if this actually belongs to this, even though the leather matches. I was like, let me just hold on to this and not throw it. The threads have become undone. So this is going to be another one of the items that I take to somebody to repair it. But in order to do that, they're going to have to undo the threading of the material on the inside, which is probably like a nylon or some material. Unthread it, pull it out a little bit, and then fold this to hide the threading once it's sewn on the back side. So the reason why I ended up getting this and why I'm not butthurt about this being ruined, this is a Neiman Marcus backpack. Neiman Marcus leather backpacks. Go look it up yourself. They could sell anywhere for $145 up to $400 and something dollars. I have not seen one like this. And my wife said, babe, wait till it starts warming up. This would be a great item to sell. And I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to take your advice from it. I am going to get repaired. I will share the process with that as well. As well as when I take those shoes in that I showed in the other video of things that I wanted to go through the process to share with you all and also learn to experience myself. A lot of new stuff for me and I think it's good. I think it shows like if it's a good thing for you to learn from so that way when it happens, if it's worth it or not. And I'm gonna do this here shortly. I'm not gonna take forever for it, especially with the shoes. I've just been busy lately. We had a host, we had a home warming party on Tuesday on my day off, which is my Saturday. Had some family and friends come over, had a great time just chilling. And um, it was only for a few hours. Nobody got crazy, nobody got drunk. We just had a good time just relaxing with families and friends. And I very much appreciate them coming. Thank you all for showing up to our house, our new home, and just hanging out. It was a good day. Really good bag, Neiman Marcus backpack. I bought it for $6.00. We gotta mention that I bought it for six dollars. The repair I'm thinking is gonna be around fifteen dollars, but when they sell for over a hundred dollars, it, it's not gonna bother me. I think it's still gonna be a great experience for me to go through. So in case I come across other bags or items or things that need to be resold, I know what the process is and more likely is it worth it or not. When next item is this uku lele, and this is from Kala. It's out made in Hawaii. A variety of versions of their ukuleles. Some more advanced. This is more like a beginner's. And the model type is KA-15S. 
These go for around 25 bucks. The guy that had it in Goodwill was scoping it out. He was also on his eBay app, like, typing in. I was like, damn, this guy's going to keep it. And I kind of waited off to the side to see if he would put it down. And he, he had it under his arm for a while, like, yeah, this is mine. Look what I got. And I was like, crap. So I ended up walking around one of the racks and when he crossed in front of me, I saw, I kind of glimpsed over and noticed he didn't have it in his arm. They wanted these things in his car. Oh, it's not there, where's it at? So I ended up speeding around the section of where he was originally and he had put it down. And I grabbed it and then I was walking around. I got this not to resell, I got it for friends because I have some very musically inclined amigos that could play this very, very well. James was messing with this, one of my close friends, my homie, my bro amigo, um, we work together. He works in a different department now, and so do I. Uh, we're both advancing in our lives, and he, he was playing this for a moment. I'm just like, man, it sounds so nice when people know how to play the ukulele. I also have another friend, Glenn Constantino. He is a gamer. He got into Twitch sharing his uh, videos of when he plays, and he's becoming, he's becoming even more and more of a bigger Twitch head. And he's, he messaged me about a month ago saying, Sonny, I'm gonna go over there in March. He's gonna go to a Twitch event and he wanted to hang out and I'm like, hell yeah. And when I got this, I thought of James and I thought of Glenn. And I was like, man, this is gonna be fun to have here at the house, not to resell because these guys could jam. When Glenn comes, you're gonna see him rock it. I hope James comes as well and we're just gonna have a little jam sesh. I cannot sing, I cannot play music, but I can listen very, very well. The next item that I have to show you is actually right under my phone. I have a little stand for it. I ended up finding this right here. Do you see what that is? Who knows what penny racers are? Never seen a huge penny racer case. I've only seen the toys of them. Some penny racers are very, very rare that they sell for like around $20 to $27. And I have to do my research on what these are. And also, by the way, this is a penny bank, which is pretty cool because they're penny racers. And there's a tag. I need to remove it. I bought it for $4, this case and the toys. And what you do in the back of these toys right here, there's a little, can you see that? There's a little slot right there. Right there, you see that? It's like right there. You put a penny back there. So what you do, you wind these, you wind the car back. Oh, and it starts clicking. That's when you really want to stop. You don't want to ruin it. And then you kind of, you get ready for it. Let me balance this out. Some of you are like, I was expecting fireworks. Well, sorry, yeah. Some of us didn't have remote control cars growing up. Some of these penny racers sell for around 30 bucks, other one around five bucks. But with the case, some people are trying to sell it for like 45 bucks. Some people are selling it for 20 bucks. But for $4, I was like, and two of these cars on this side, let me put these back before I lose them. People may already have penny racers and not have the case and be like, whoa, I gotta add that to my collection. Now I could have them actually displayed in the case that it comes with. I wonder if there's money in there. Oh, do y'all hear that? Oh my God, look at all of these on the other side. People have sold a set of 25, a lot of 25 or 14 and 15 or more for over $125. Some have shipping on there, some don't, but I have 14 penny racers, I believe. In a case for it, I think I might end up getting a little over a hundred bucks out of the $4, I will have shipping for this. And because of the size of this and the length, I think this would be, be a great fit to put inside a shoe box. I'll just bubble wrap it as, as best as possible, have it stiff inside the box, along with some paper on the outside. I'm just gonna stuff it in very well so it doesn't shake too much. And if something ends up being on top of it, it could withstand that with all the, the stuffing and bubble wrap and everything. That is it for my video. And if you haven't already, Give me a thumbs up, help push the video out into the YouTube worlds, and also share your feedback down below. I did have some great comments in the last video about the giveaway. If you haven't seen that yet either, check it out. I need 25 more subscribers. With your help, I can get there. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sunny Hustles.